everybody welcome to another one of my new videos boom yes today we are going to be talking about the thorax from the and uh, excuse me if i say it wrong i believe it is the militarium tempestus codex coming out um the thorax is a replacement for the chimera it is only used by imperial guard and apparently the militarium tempestus as a replacement for the chimera and it's not a bad vehicle it's a it's kind of a mixture between a chimera and a rhino Fred in my opinion it's got a ballistic skill 3 front armor 11 side armor 10 rear armor 10 and three hull points it is a transport obviously it comes standard with a twin linked auto cannon it carries 10 models has two fire points on each side of the vehicle which is cool uh, because rhinos typically only had I believe one in the front uh, it has three access points sides and rear and it can take uh, pretty much all of the standard equipment that a vehicles can take but here's the interesting part it comes in a variant known as the torox prime now this is the interesting part because the torox prime can only be taken by militarium tempestus units specifically a scion squad or a um, scions command squad uh, and it's apparently upgraded in some way so let's find out why ah it's a fast transport that's thing number one it also has a ballistic skill of four instead of three now for the astra militarium vehicle equipment list which is apparently where it gets its stuff from it can take a searchlight dozer blades heavy stubber or storm bolter smoke launchers extra armor hunter killer missile and camo netting now it can also be upgraded apparently you can replace the uh, battle cannon with twin links gatling cannon or a torox missile launcher sounds like a fun it can also replace the twin linked hot shot volley gun with twin linked auto cannon for free boom so well, well first of all what is the torox battle cannon and what is the twin linked hot shot volley gun now first of all let me clear up these are only on the torox prime okay before anybody tries to correct me on it so let's see the battle cannon Torox Battle Cannon is a range 48, strength 7, AP 4, unfortunately, heavy 1 blast. Uh, the Torox Missile Launcher can make up for that by firing your standard crack, which is 48, strength 8, AP 3, heavy 2 shot, or frag, which is a strength 4, AP 6, heavy 2 blast. Now, these can be replaced with the Torox gatling cannon which is range 24 strength four no ap heavy 10 so boom and the hot shot volley gun which is range 24 strength four and ap3 yes that's what you want with a salvo a two or four slash salvo firing options now here's where we really start to have fun it comes with a special rule called all terrain assault vehicle boom <clears throat> what is the all terrain assault vehicle well let's just read it Despite their similarities, the Torox and Torox Prime have slightly different roles within the Astra Militarium Army. The standard Torox is cheaper to field and it is available in almost any Imperial Guard Infantry unit, while the Torox Prime is faster, comes with a heavier armament, and is exclusive to the Militarium Tempestus Scions. In both cases, the primary role of these vehicles is to deploy infantry squads where you need them most and they are well suited to getting this task done 
The all-terrain APC special rule means that you'll only get snarled up by the worst of luck because you can re-roll your difficult terrain checks. Uh, so feel confident in getting through them is what they're saying. Next. Ideally, you will never leave your fragile side or rear armor exposed and only reveal your Torox at all if you have really good shot lined up or you are about to unload your warriors. They suggest nipping from cover to cover so that you get at least a cover save, if not complete concealment. It's worth an upgrade for the smoke launchers. Keep the amount of incoming fire against your Toraxes to a minimum, even if it means foregoing shooting to benefit from getting going flat out. So, preference to go flat out over a shot. Flat out, if you don't know, lets you move an extra D6 or 12 total, or 12 for the Torox Prime in the shooting phase. Once you deliver your cargo, be it Scions or regular Guardsmen, revert to a supporting fire roll. This is where the increased firepower of the Torox Prime excels, since the Torox Battle Cannons and Hot Shot Volley Gun can be especially hurtful. In my experience, the extra fire given out for your squads is often enough to cripple tanks or finish off enemy AT units. Boom! That's the Tempestus and Tempestus Prime for you. I hope you liked it. Enjoy! Bye!